Mob, mob, mob. Wait, that is, that is not my intro. <laughs> Girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two swoosh chains and two swoosh crew we are back for another book club series Friday video that's right started a brand new series to bring just a little bit of different flavor content weekly on Friday is just a little food for thought because I think we can all use that it don't always have to be related to sneakers okay we all we all you know we all well, a lot of us are adults, okay? And like I've stated before on the first episode, I get it. Sometimes reading is just not something we're all geeked to do once we're done with school, but you know what? I'm gonna help just by going over little excerpts from books that I've read over the last year and a half, two years. And you know what? You can let me know. Does it help you a little bit in life? I'm hoping it is. My goal is to try to keep these videos like five minutes. Okay, so it ain't all about a dollar because I could definitely you could throw more ads in if these videos were longer, but there's no need for them to be longer. Just quick little, what what what, what do we call them? Cliff notes, spark notes. You can get to the point. We know a lot of us just read them in school. We didn't read the actual. Well, y'all didn't read the actual book. I read the book. Okay, <laughs> but we are still on the book, the subtle art of not giving up. Okay, by Mark Manson, and with this one, um, I. This touches home so much for life, and I think it will the older you get. A lot of times when you read things, I think when you're younger, it takes you a minute to, to really comprehend them, take them in uh, when it comes to the maturity that's, you know, that might be needed. I think that's fair to be able to say. So in terms of this one in Mark Manton's book, um, I'm looking down to make sure I get this right, but it's so true. The greatest truths in life are usually the most unpleasant to hear. And I think if we all take take a step back, I think a lot of us can agree with that, right? A lot of the things that you, and I'm not talking about people just being straight up assholes, but a lot of the things that you've heard in life, they may come from a friend that's just trying to be real, direct, and honest with you. They could come from a loved one, a significant other. Like if people care about you, they'll tell you the truth. That truth ain't always nice to hear. It's unpleasant. Think about it. If somebody came to you out of love and compassion that, you know, they're concerned about your health saying, hey, I really think you need to focus on your health, try to be in a better place with what you eat, moving more, exercising, because your health is starting to deteriorate, okay? The larger you get, the more, uh, more you put yourself at risk for a lot of diseases that could be prevented, heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, I don't want that for you, I care about you, we gotta start to do something healthier with you, okay? That's real. It's a harsh truth to have to hear, but it's real. It's real. Okay, you are not really, you're, you're, you're saying you have a lot of ambition, you want so much for yourself, but you're not putting in the work to actually do it. Sniper Jones tells that harsh truth a lot, I think, and I don't know if he's really directly addressing content creators, but that, that I mean, that that's who it really does go out to. If you say you want to get somewhere, you have to put in that work to get there. And I think you need to surround yourself with people that are going to give you some harsh truths because they care about you, and I don't care who these people may be. Like, I am rocking Davy McFly's shirt, mob only, okay? Get you a friend like Davy who can be honest with you, okay? He told me, like, listen, get yourself outside more, you know, get get into some good, some fresh air, okay? Get yourself outside more because we all know we live these adult lives where anything that could be going on, we just, we, we cut ourselves off from things that just natural things that can make you feel amazing, make you feel better, make you feel good, and that is just nature itself. Get yourself outside more, okay? Learn to take those mental breaks that you need to take. Learn to have, you know, you get some friends that are going to tell you the truth, how harsh you may be, but get some friends that'll do that for you. I think that shows that they care. You need to embrace it. Every, everything that's told to you doesn't need to placate you. It doesn't need to make you feel good, okay? <laughs> some harsh truths are going to be that. Just harsh. But I think if you take them in and you look back on your life and a lot of the things that people were said, you know, if it was honest with you, it was probably something you need to hear, okay? So have you dealt with that lately? It was something harsh and then you look back and you say, that was real. That was real. Cause like my fa uh, my favorite current rapper says, NF, you know, I don't, I don't need, uh, I don't need people in the backseat trying to, uh, trying to gas me. I need people trying to check me. That, that's what you need. I don't need you trying to gas me. I need you just trying to check me. Okay. Care enough about me. Check me. Keep it real with me. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode book club series with TJ on a Friday. Peace. Mm -hmm.